okay we are going to solve problem 4.5 from sadiku book and the question is assume v0 is 1 volt so v0 is the voltage here so 1 volt to the ground assume it so let's just write it so let's assume this as 1 volt and use linearity principle to find the actual value of v0 okay now we have our assumption here and this let's name this i1 and let's name this i2 okay now because we know uh, we assume the value of v0 is 1 volt so we can calculate i1 and i2 using ohm's law okay now let's calculate i1 so v0 is 1 volt and divided by 2 plus 4 it's 6 so 1 divided by 6 ampere and for i2 it is v0 divided by 6 so we will have same value here 1 divided by 6 this 1 over 6 ampere okay now we know i1 and i2 and from that we can calculate this one i3 because of the kirchhoff current law so the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out i1 and i2 is going out so i3 that going in is the sum of i1 and i2 so i will have i3 is equal to i1 plus i2 which is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 and that is 1 over 3 and the unit is ampere so from here we can have this voltage here by using ohm's law now how to calculate that so we can calculate that by using i3 is equal to v1 minus v0 divided by 3 and now we have i3 is 1 over 3 and that will equal to v1 minus v0 is 1 divided by 3 and doing simple algebra we can cancel this and v1 minus 1 is 1 so v1 is 2 volt so the assumption of v0 1 volt leads to the assumption of v1 is 2 volt so here our assumption this is 2 volt now from there we can calculate this current that going out from here let's call this i4 and what is i4 so by using ohm's law again we can calculate i4 so i4 is v1 divided by 6 and v1 is 2 and this resistance is 6 ohm so we will have 1 over 3 ampere and from there we can calculate the current that going in here i5 so we will have i5 is equal to i3 plus i4 So I3 is 1 over 3 plus I4 is 1 over 3. So we have 2 thirds here, 2 thirds ampere. And from there we can actually calculate this. Okay, let's call this V2 here. So V2. We can calculate it from Ohm's law here. So I5 is actually V2 minus V1 divided by 2. And I5 is 2 over 3. And then V2, we, we are looking for V2. And then V1, V1 is 2 volt over 2. 
Okay, now let's do simple algebra here. So we will have 4 is equal to 3 V2 minus 6. And then we will have 3 V2 is equal to 10. And so V2 is 10 over 3. Volt if the value of V0 is 1 volt. So this is 10 over 3 volt. Okay, now because the real value of this voltage source is 15 volt, we need to scale down this and because our whiteboard is full, let's erase this first. Okay, so far what we get is V2 is 10 over 3 volt when V0 is 1 volt. So, let's see. When V2 is 10.3 volt, V0 is 1 volt. So now we want to know when V2 is 15 volt. Because the real value of V2 is 15 volt, so how about that V0? How do we find it? Okay, because we know that this is the value that we calculate when V0 is 1 volt, we put it on the denominator. So we will have 10 over 3 here, and then for V2. The real V2, we want to find it, put it on the numerator, and then V0 is 1 volt. So we, we, we only need to solve this to find out the real V0. So 15, this is equal to 15 multiplied by 3 <coughs> divided by 10 and multiplied by 1 volt. And that is 4.5 volt. And here is the actual value of V0. Find, we found using linearity principle. Okay. And thank you for watching. Let me know if I made any mistake in the calculation. Thank you.